Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi. And in this episode, I'm gonna do something quite different. Um, basically, for you to follow this video tutorial, you might need to have um, MacBook Pro. At least the one I'm using is from 2010, so it's pretty old MacBook Pro. And you need to have the um, the iPhone X. Um, the thing about the iPhone X is that it comes with this uh, face scanner, um, something that's very similar to Kinect technology, probably much improved one. And currently I'm running this um, sample code from Apple, which is uh, free that uh, you can download and you can study it. And it comes with three examples, basically the one that's uh, kind of for face masking, the second one is to for you to create some kind of uh, like a props, 3D props that you can wear on, on your head and it's gonna follow your head. The third one is the most interesting probably because you can use your own 3D character's head and then animate the, the shape keys and then blend shape it. Anyhow, I download this uh, example from Apple developer page and then here I'm opening it using Xcode. Uh, you see on the left here, this is actually um, the iPhone X tracking my face in real time probably it's not moving at the moment because um, it's a bit slow uh, running on my computer but if I'm looking at the iPhone X uh, this is actually tracking my head and face in real time and all my facial expression so yeah I will now try to uh, I'm gonna close uh, Safari first. Okay, now it should be running a little bit faster. Okay, so Xcode is running um, this project, and the thing about the thing that's really cool about this is that the iPhone X actually capture the expression, facial expression. It's actually projecting like some kind of uh, thirty thousand IR infrared points that's tracking your facial expression and but anyhow, in short, you can you can basically capture a person's face at particular expression uh, under one second. And now with this thing running with inside Xcode, and I'm basically gonna capture my face, and I'll display it to you in a, uh, very quickly. I'm gonna actually close this uh, reflector. I don't need that anymore. I still have the iPhone X running. And just now I did the, a capture in 3D and hopefully this is working. And QuickTime still recording. Just now I did a, like a 3D capture of the whatever going on inside the iPhone X. And now hopefully I could just check it out here in 3D and you should be able to see there's a this SCN file that we can actually export file um, export put it into the desktop save it as my face and I'm gonna close Xcode um, let's check it out my face okay and then let's open it inside Blender okay so basically the idea is you capture the 3D face uh, uh, using the iPhone X and then um, you can export it out as SCN that you can export out as DAE Colada file format that you can open inside Blender so it's actually pretty simple process and you can actually create an app that basically just capture your face so that's a uh, so there you go, that's my face, and uh, it was 
capturing it at a at a weird expression. I know uh, you might saw that, but there you go. That's my face being captured at that particular moment. I was actually looking away, and then it was. Um, there is a way to actually capture the texture and then kind of project it on the face, but uh, this is the face, uh, basically. And with this, um, it comes with material, and then it has. I'm gonna hit tab and then look at it. There's a very clean UV already. So basically, what's going on is that I think with a uh, Apple Face AR with the iPhone X, it already has some kind of a uh, face template with all these uh, points cleanly, and it will remap it on any user face in real time, 60 times per second. It's it's doing that like like a uh, very very quickly and then the points will get mapped and then it will follow the user face so it's very very advanced technology and here you can see uh, in blender uh, if I'm using an if I create a new texture for example just like a, a color grid and I'm gonna save this real quick um, okay just save it in on desktop as UV generic and now switch back to Blender. I think we have this texture and we can map it into this face. So I'm gonna switch back to the default and here's my material. I'm gonna apply the texture here, create a new texture and then open, open it on the desktop. There's a, there's a UV generic open image and so the UV is already there on the on this object and I think we got it here so the the texture is now applied and we can check it out with lighting as well point light it's currently this material is probably is a phone Probably I get rid of the specular for now. Okay, that's a uh, the hardness, intensity, ambience, um, shales. Well, I should use my own material, I guess. New material, assign the texture, and that's uh, much simpler. So now we have this point, point light, and we also can use um, hemi sphere light. Now we can do some kind of a face painting very, very easily. Um, let's see. If you use Blender for a while, then it's gonna be the whole process is gonna be simple now. So we have this face, and we can start doing some painting. Okay, so, that, so that's our texture, and we apply it on the face, and you can see it's very very clean. If you know 3D and a bit of computer graphics, um, really the process become really really simple, and I really like it, and you can now start doing like a texture painting right doing it in 3d or in 2d over here um, blender provides you with both way to do this let me just totally paint this out to white you know overriding the image and if I like uh, we can start doing this uh, some kind of face masking uh, this is in a way like uh, this is the basic um, kind of the basic process to do some kind of a face tattoo or something. Uh, let me try to make like some kind of skull skull mask. Uh, I can't remember. There's the this guy who tattoos his face with a with a skull kind of uh, tattoo. Uh, it's looking something like that. Of course, it's got a lot of more detail, but you got the idea. This is more like a panda. 
but anyhow you can save this out you can save this texture and then bring it into Xcode and then just apply the texture and then it will actually project back into the face um, on the on the on the iPhone X and it's become like a like a real-time thing and I found this really cool so it's all it is actually basically like a snapchat 3d like a super advanced snapchat tool that you can do it yourself um, um, ideally I think eventually someone will probably come up with some kind of tools that allows you to to do this in, in real time on the device maybe on the iPhone or the iPad I don't know like maybe the future iPad allows you to just paint on your face in real time that's gonna be like a really cool time but for now this is something that you can do using this uh, using open source tools like blender uh, you get all the tools already you can create like a 3d face geometry and I don't know you, you, you tell me what you're trying to do and then maybe we can try to kind of work it out together uh, but I found this like uh, really really powerful um, the iPhone X and this will allow you to create a like a 3d augmented reality for face and that's a really like huge um, you probably have seen the animoji animations in real time that's um, that's also something you can do very easily um, it takes time time of course you gotta create like uh, your own original face head character creature whatever and then you do the all these uh, shape keys in blender and then you assign it into the iPhone X blend shapes so that's a whole there's a whole process that I want to show you but this is like the basic idea so once you're done with it you, you can save the texture this save the texture go into Xcode apply it as a material like a PBR or physically based um, physically based rendering material uh, and then it's gonna it's just gonna work and because the facial AR the face AR in iPhone X it's also gonna calculate the lighting and then apply all this physically based uh, lighting rendering for you it's almost like automatic you can walk around with the iPhone X and then you you point it into your face when lighting changes it's gonna calculate it like uh, it's gonna try to emulate the lighting around the environment and apply it back into your face and then assigning it as a layer of augmented reality so it's really powerful and I'm gonna probably make a few tutorials on this topic in the future um, currently I'm really actually working on my own like a uh, it's this actually based on a like a Chinese traditional opera uh, mask so it's a part of uh, Chinese culture but with my app I'm thinking like maybe I want to I can create like a a thousand or ten thousand face mask I don't know but I'm, I'm sharing all the techniques over here um, let me also try reopen my latest mask so currently I'm still working on this it's not like a real app yet but uh, since the app is so simple it's just masking you 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 assign it like a you paint a mask and then assign it back into the face um, yeah probably I don't have the the latest mask over here um, probably here face mask where is it Ding. This one, assets, monkey paint, B. So this is the other mask. Mm. Oh, interesting. It doesn't update here. Okay, there, there you go. This is my other mask. This is my second mask. I, I didn't, of course, the painting is kind of, it's not perfect. I, I just use my mouse to do this. But anyhow, this is the second mask. And yeah, this is a, like an ongoing project. I I want to create this kind of experience of uh, like a 
Chinese opera face changing uh, magic. Look like um, I need to have a couple more face masks and then kind of switching the mask in like very very quickly. Uh, I think this is pretty cool app because um, you can just use a different face and then you can apply it on the face in real time. So that's a really powerful. But of course, then again, for you to do this, you need to have um, the iPhone X, uh, maybe just borrow it from friends. And then you need a um, MacBook Pro. If you have the latest MacBook Pro, it's gonna be really fast. I'm using really old Mac, but yeah, just download Xcode, you, you can do this yourself. You got like a really powerful tool there. So yeah, there you go. Um, and with Blender, you always have the latest Blender and you can do this uh, at home and then create your own mask. Uh, mask tattoo is the easiest. But, so like I said, 3D creature head will be a little bit harder, but uh, it's a lot of fun thing to do and you can just simply install it on your app. If you want to sell it, of course you need to do it. You, you need to upload it into apps, uh, Apple Store and then you have to do, uh, you have to sign up for Apple uh, developers license and all that but I think it's gonna be so easy in the future like uh, almost like how you can upload 3d asset into sketchfab and then look at it in uh, as uh, augmented reality this is like um, this become very very easy uh, for anyone to do it so thanks again for tuning in and hopefully this is useful uh, let me know what you think if you have any question and I'll see you next time